Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, I hope that you're all well. Today I'm going to be showing you roughly what I do in a week as a full-time artist. I kind of film this a bit sporadically, um, but I'll kind of talk you through what I do every day. So to start off the week, I sold this painting that you'll see in a second. And in this clip, I'm just going to be limp rolling it and varnishing it and preparing it to be sent off in the next couple of days. So once the varnish was all dry, I wrapped it in bubble wrap. Inside the bubble wrap, I put two foam boards to protect the front of the painting and wrapped it in glassine paper, tied it with a ribbon, and then I wrap it in eco bubble wrap and then place it into a double walled cardboard box and this should make sure that it's definitely protected and even if the package has some bumps along the way nothing's going to happen to the painting and then when, when I put it inside the box I also put some packaging filler so some um, paper and some airbags just to make sure that it's not rattling around too much And then I just finished off the day by starting the base for this round painting that you'll see in a second. I started by painting a base layer in acrylic, so for this I just used the colours lamp black and ultramarine blue and a bit of titanium white. And then I rub it so that the base is just kind of like a wash. And I find that this just creates a nice undertone for the painting. And then this is the next day and I just finished off the rest of the painting before I needed to pack some prints. So for prints I like to sign them on the front and then number them on the back and then I add in my business cards, some stickers and I put the print itself into a compostable cello wallet and then put a cardboard backing behind it so that it doesn't bend and then I put it into a cardboard envelope and put a do not bend sticker on the front and I find that this is usually quite an effective method of shipping prints there's only been a couple of times where they've turned up damage to somebody and most of those times were when I wasn't using the cardboard envelopes and the cardboard backing Then later on that day I got a parcel of some art supplies which I'd ordered from Cass Art and Jackson's Art Online. So first I've got these, I think they're about 8 by 10 oval canvases and then I think this is a 16 by 12 oval canvas as well. I'll have to check the measurements but I'm pretty sure that's what they are. I also ordered some 5x5 five five inch cotton canvases by Winsor & Newton, they're usually my go-to canvas brand. And I ordered some Michael Harding paints in Prussian blue and indigo blue. And I 
also got my favourite white ever, which is Titanium White by Winsor & Newton. And then I also got three 6x6 inch canvases, again by Winsor & Newton. actually left out quite a few things I didn't really film everything that I was doing in the week but I think this was the next day when I started shipping out last week's orders so firstly I am varnishing and lint rolling this piece which got sold last week and it's actually from the paint with me video that you would have seen a couple videos ago so I, I always lint roll my paintings before I varnish them just to make sure there's no dust or anything that's going to get trapped within the varnish and then what you're really meant to do is you're meant to scrub varnish into your painting I always get a bit scared of this because I feel like it's going to lift up the pigment but every time it's fine <laughs> so for this piece I left it for a couple of days to dry and in the meantime I just packed some other little pieces which I had to send off So here's a giveaway piece that I did a couple of weeks ago and I'm just writing a thank you card and then I'm going to be wrapping it up in glassine paper with a ribbon, then putting it in some bubble wrap and then putting it into a package with some shredded paper just to make sure it doesn't move around too much in transit. But yeah, I did also package quite a few other pieces and prints. This is probably the bulk of what I would usually do, especially at the beginning of the week. But um, yeah, I, ha I just hadn't really filmed all of it. I'm not really too sure why. And I also did a few other original paintings, like some small ones throughout the week. I just filmed them for TikTok, so you'll probably see them on there. But yeah, thank you for sticking around. These are just a couple of tasks that I do every week. I also do some admin and things like that, but I thought it was kind of boring to film. But yeah, I hope that you're having a lovely day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.